everyone! Today I want to tell you about all the updates in NetPeak Spider 3.1. We have added several super useful reports and of course improved the interface of the program. I can't wait to show you all the updates, so let's open the new NetPeak Spider and get started! If you want to make an in-depth analysis of your or your competitors' websites in context of segments and URL structure, then our new site structure report is the thing you should try for this task. Exported file will consist of all the parameters that were selected in the sidebar in the parameters tab, uh, but the most important part of this spreadsheet is section column. It's similar to the numbered lists in any document and makes it easy to sort and quickly determine uh, the number and uniqueness of the segments in URL. We have also added this column to the extended copy feature, which is available in Site Structure report in the sidebar. If you see a cell marked yellow in URL column, it means that this section doesn't have a main page. For example, you have a page example.com slash tags slash cats, but you don't have example.com slash tags. It means that example.com slash tags will be marked yellow. I understand that it's not a critical issue, but better to be informed about such things in your site structure to make inappropriate actions. Note that in Overview and Site Structure tabs, all hosts are sorted in two steps. First is by dots. Fewer dots mean higher in the list. And then we sort them in alphabetical order. All the subsequent segments will be sorted only in alphabetical order. But the most interesting thing about the site structure report is an opportunity to visualize the data. And I will show you how to do it with XMind program. All we need is just to select the necessary part of the structure. I will choose the whole structure. Just copy it and then paste without formatting to the program. Let me erase all the data from this and then paste without formatting. Thus, you will have a mind map of all the links on your website. And also, it's available to separate the internal linking from all the external links and subdomains. Ever since I have started working at NetPeak Software, the most frequent user request has always been a report about redirects, which consists of the page which contains the link leading to a redirect. Where this link initially led it, its anchor and also status code and the final redirect URL. I'm glad to say that this report is available in our software now with some additional information. Thus, you can send it as a task for your developers or content managers to get rid of all unnecessary redirects on your website. Redirect by itself is not a critical problem, but it's much better to lead visitors or search robots right to the target page without any time losses. Also, it's crucial for saving your crawling budget. One of the most popular NetPeak Spot use cases is scraping different kind of data from websites. People mostly scrape contact details, prices, reviews or even goods characteristics and etc. And actually ways how you can use scraping are limited only by your imagination. That's why we needed to improve exporting this data for, to make further use of these reports easier for the customers. That's how scraping summary in a single file and data for scraping conditions in separate files reports were born. Let's take a deeper look on scraping summary in single file report and the example of scraping the Amazon's product pages. As you can see, each URL corresponds with only one row of the table and consists of the data scraped from it. This is one more advantage. 
When you export this report in Excel 6 format, you will see small notes in column headers. If you will hover over it, you will see the condition that have been used for scraping this data. If you've got a task to get a complete list of URLs of your or competitors' websites quickly, Netpeak Spider 3.1 will help you in just a few clicks. Pending URLs report will have a list of all web pages and their depth from initial URL even before the crawling is complete. By the way, you can configure settings like crawling external links or subdomains that will also be considered in this report. Let's go deeper into each item of the new Reports Export menu. And the first item is Current Table Results, which actually performs the same function as Export button on the top of the main program tables. It means that you get a report with the current table results or a dashboard. Then we have Main Report Set. It's a bulk export that gives you a folder which includes all issues, all results, table, site structure, scraping overview, and all unique URLs and anchors. All issues. It's also a bulk export that gives you all the reports about issues that have been found during the crawling. If you don't want to get them all at once, you can choose the necessary one from the Issue Reports group. I have already told you about site structure and pending URLs reports, so if you overlooked it, just rewatch this video. Then we have extra large reports from database. Potentially, documents from these reports can be really heavy, because they consist of scraping results and also information about the links. And the last item here is all available reports. It's the heaviest type of bulk expert because it gives you all the available reports except of the current table results. At the end, I want to underline two awesome reports that are usually overlooked. They are placed in the extra large reports from the database and it's all unique URLs and anchors. And the first one will be unique URLs, where you will find the list of the unique URLs number they appear on the website and also number of anchors used for these links. It will help you to give a more information about the number of links to the external services or how many different anchors used for these links. And the second one is unique anchors. All the data here is grouped by the anchor text. And we have also added the number of pages where this anchor text have been used. So this report will help you with a more in-depth analysis of the internal linking and also the anchor list used for the certain group of pages. If you are not sure if you have enough time to grab a burrito in the nearest Chipotle, Netpeak Spider will help you. In the latest update, we have implemented crawling duration focused with an easy algorithm. We take a number of pending URLs and divide it by crawling speed. In the end, it sounds like a simple SAT task. Netflix Spider train leaves initial URL station at a crawling speed. At what time will SEO specialist see his reports complete if it's 10,000 pages left? And of course, the expected time left is located in the status bar. We like to adjust everything around us for our comfort. And now, Netpeak Spider tables are part of your working environment that can be customized too. Let me show what you can configure. First of all, it's column width, relative position, and also data sorting in any column. Then I want to show you one feature that is usually overlooked by our customers. It's data grouping by any parameter or group of parameters. To do so, just drag column heading to the special zone over the table. And the last feature is column freezing. To use it, just drag the column heading to the left. Then I want to say that each table in the big spider can be customized separately. Thus, you can configure 
each issue report in the way you want it to be displayed. But I want to note that overview, site structure, and scraping reports can be customized separately because Netpeak Spider opened them in the URL Explorer tab. So you can have only one simultaneous appearance for them. Users of Netpeak Checker 3.1 already know this feature but now it's also available in Netpeak Spider. If you don't want to see the whole data, but surf only among necessary parameters, follow this easy three steps. First one is, when the crawling is complete, save the project. After that, untick unnecessary parameters and click on Sync the table with selected parameters button. By the way, as you can see, we replaced function names with buttons. And also, if you will hover over it, you will see the explanation of each function. Here we go, only selected parameters are displayed in the table. I want to also say that if you forgot what is hidden and what is shown, you always can open previously saved project. And another hint is you can save analyzed parameters as a template and after some manipulations with syncing, just use it again and click sync the table with selected parameters. Here we go, all the data is shown again. For the best experience, use the whole functionality of our program. The same as previous feature, it was implemented in Netpeak Checker 3.1 and then copied to Netpeak Spider. To make a long story short, it helps you filter the data by a value of one or several cells, but only in one row. For example, you can quickly get a list of pages, which are located in four clicks from initial URL. As a summary, let's briefly run through the, all the things we have changed in Epic Spider 3.1. Most of the updates are about reports, as we have added four new items and gathered all the available reports in handy groups. Now you can customize the tables in the way you want, and it will be saved for further use even after the program is closed. Also, we have added crawling duration focused, which will be displayed in status bar, and copied features like synchronizing table with selected parameters and filter by value from Netpeak Checker to Netpeak Spider. And of course, as usually, we have done more than 20 improvements in interface and usability to make your user experience even better. Thanks a lot, guys, for your time and patience. I want to ask you for the one last Thing. I will be happy if you will do it. Can you please write a feature that you have never heard before this video in the comments below? Thanks a lot and wish you a 100 page speed inside score and pretty snippet that sell.